Just wanted to put together a quick video to show why when you're converting from power to manual steering you need to take the time to epoxy up or weld up the spool valve if you actually want to get an improvement in road feel. So this is a Volvo 240 rack and pinion, doesn't really matter what brand though they're all pretty similar. Um, it's disassembled at this point. The part we're going to look at is inside the, the input shaft housing. Input shaft normally is right here. The rack is right there. So here is the pinion. You can see this is the U-joint, this is the input shaft, this is the pinion on the rack. So steering wheel side, vehicle side. I've got the nut on the end here and uh, just going to put light pressure on this and you can see the, the amount of movement. It's probably going to be tough to see in this video. I'll try to hold still. Right here, that's with very little, I mean, uh, five or ten foot-pounds of force is all it takes to twist that pinion. So all that flexibility is between you and the rack. A manual rack doesn't have that, which is why it feels better. The way around this to either weld the spool valve to the input shaft or to fill these small holes with a very hard epoxy that won't allow the spool valve to operate anymore.